Hey guys, it's nomnom Nom 1891 and I'm going to show you how to make your own website from scratch. Okay, what you want to do is you need to get Notepad++, which you can download from the internet, which this came with my computer. Okay, but you can just go to Google and search notepad plus plus and there's a whole bunch of downloads okay first create a new folder like this it you can name it anything okay now open notepad plus plus and before you do anything you can go to file save as and go to the location where your folder is and name it anything the basic name for it is index and after any name you name it you have to do dot html save you could minimize it for web page and double click that and it will take you to this blank web it's not really a website yet you're just making it to publish it, you would go to Google and search up website publishers, and there's a whole bunch of them out there. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the basic layout of a website. Okay. This is what you need to do. HTML. This is what everything's going to be in. It's going to be in less than and greater than signs. Okay. And this is the closing sign for everything. Less than sign and then a slash. Okay. Now, HTML. And in that, between HTML, you want to do header. Okay. Close header. Okay. Now, do the body. Close the body. Okay. Now, before you do anything, if you want to add background color to your site, you do BG color equals, and then you type in number. Now, I know three basic HTML color codes. I'm going to do gray for my background color, which is 737373, and then to the color of the text you type in text equals and then the number and here's another one of them which is black at zero 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 I'm gonna do white though white is FFF FFF and if you're wondering yes all of them are six numbers or letters refresh see now if you want to find different ones you go to your web browser and type in colorpicker.com. There you have it. Because I've been to that site. See this right here? You can go to any color, click and drag around, whatever you want. See, there's gray. There's the original gray, 7373. Like, let's say I wanted a specific color of green. You do that, and you would copy the code, you would go back to your website and type it in there. Okay. Oh. That's how you get the color. Now I'm going to show you how to do, how to write on it. You would do this, which is for paragraph. I'm going to type in Welcome to my website. And then to close it, you would do that. And you would save it. You must save it before you go back to it. Because, or else it won't work. And you save it, you go back and you refresh it, and it'll pop up. Welcome to my website. Now I'm going to show you how to make this text go in the middle right there. Okay. 
notepad plus plus and it's really easy just go like that and center and then right there you close it like that and save the website and you would do refresh it's right there now I'm gonna show you how to get a link okay what you need to do is like you can do it below the paragraph you want to you do um, less than sign a lowercase a space href equals quotations and then the website I think I already have it copied yeah there's my YouTube where's my channel okay now at the end you would do quotation marks again you would do this and right where you type here it would be what the link would say okay and before you do that I'm going to show you how to make it bold how to make it italic or how to make it underlined I wouldn't do underlined because it's already going to be underlined because it's a link dirt 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 okay here's bold it's capital B here's U I mean underline and here's italic I like italic so I'm going to use italic I'm going to put in click here to go to my channel okay and then close it like that save go back refresh click it would take you to my channel like I said you can do any URL you want and put it in there okay now I'm going to show you how to make a table okay you, this is the table thing like that okay and then make sure whenever you do it you would do it right below this right before it goes that and below it and you would do table row and then you would type in what the title of the table would be I'm gonna do my favorite numbers and then you would close it right here is the only time you close it right next to it okay enter like that and this is table column and here's the list if you want to organize the list an organized list is that and it's where it's like numbered like one two three four and an unorganized list is that which is like those big, big bold periods like before and I like untitled unorganized list better okay now on this one you don't have to go right there you just have to yeah. so you do that li which stands for list item and I'm gonna do 18 because that's one of my favorite numbers and then I'm gonna make another one like that 22 is another one of my favorite numbers okay and then you would close the list you would close the column and you would close the table okay save for the website refresh see and if you would want to do a border around it um, I forgot how but if you want to you would open up your web browser and I'm gonna give you two sites that would help you. HTML help would help you with attributes which is the things like body and the paragraph sign and everything you search it up and, and you would do a tribute after it and it would give you it and here's another site this is learning about C++ language if you don't know it already 
C++ language is computer language, basically. It's what you program video games and websites and everything with. And this website right here, C++.com, will give you all the information you need about C++ language. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put a YouTube video on your site. Okay, first, you would go to YouTube.com. Now, this is my first video because I just made a new account. Because I wanted to make a new account. You know. Okay, now just. I'm going to use that. And it can be any video. It can be yours, it can be somebody else's. And pause it. Hit share. And then you can hit embed. And that gives you the C code for it. Okay, I would suggest 560 times 315 because it's the smallest. Okay, now you would copy this, it pre selects it for you. You would go and make a new table all over again. Yeah, I know it sucks. Okay, table row, name it YouTube videos. Okay, now the table column, now the list, list item, and you put the link in there, and you close list item, close the unorganized list, close the table column, and close the table. Save website and refresh. And you would hit allow block content. I promise you it will not harm your computer, it is just a YouTube video. And the cool thing about it is if you click on it, it'll play it right from your website. It will not go to YouTube and play it, it will play it right from your website. And is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you need help, go to HTML help or go to C++.com or you can comment on this video or you can send me a message and I will get back to you with an answer as soon as I can. So hope you enjoy your website. Bye.